Against other things, it is possible to obtain security. But when it comes to death, we human beings all live in an unwalled city. Vain is the word of a philosopher which does not heal any suffering of man. For just as there is no profit in medicine if it does not expel the diseases of the body, so there is no profit in philosophy either if it does not expel the suffering of the mind. Nature's wealth is limited and easy to acquire, but the wealth of vain fancies recedes to an infinite distance. Nothing is enough for the man to whom enough is too little. Natural justice is a covenant for mutual benefit, to not harm one another or be harmed. It's a great thing learning how to die. I write this not for the many, but for you. Each of us is enough of an audience for the other. Practice these and the related percepts day and night, and you will live as a god among men. When we exist, death is not present, and when death is present, we do not exist. And often we consider pain superior to pleasures when submission to the pains for a long time brings us as a consequence a greater pleasure. Send me a pot of cheese so that I may be able to indulge myself whenever I wish. The impassive soul disturbs neither itself nor others. The magnitude of pleasure reaches its limit in the removal of all pain. When pleasure is present, so long as it is uninterrupted, there is no pain either of the body or of the mind or of both together. If death is we are not, if we are death is not. Self-sufficiency is the greatest of all wealth. Death means nothing to us. One who understands the limits of the good life knows that what eliminates the pains brought on by need and what makes the whole of life perfect is easily obtained so that there is no need for enterprises that entail the struggle for success. Why should I fear death? If I am, death is not. If death is, I am not. Why should I fear that which cannot exist when I do? Let no one be slow to seek wisdom when he is young, nor weary in the search of it when he has grown old for no age is too early or too late for the health of the soul. A free man cannot acquire many possessions, because this is no easy feat without becoming a hireling of mobs or dynasts, and yet he has a constant abundance of everything, and if he should chance to gain many possessions, he could easily portion them out so as to win his neighbor's goodwill. Nothing is sufficient for the person who finds sufficiency too little. The just person enjoys the greatest peace of mind, while the unjust is full of the utmost disquietude. Why should I fear death? If I am, death is not. If death is, I am not. Why should I fear that which could not exist when I do? For if death is we are not, if we are death is not. Of all the means which are procured by wisdom to ensure happiness throughout the whole of life, by far the most important is the acquisition of friends. Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Remember that what you have was once among the things you only hoped for. It is better for you to be free of fear lying upon a pallet than to have a golden couch and a rich table and be full of trouble. Death is nothing to us because a body that has been dispersed into elements experiences no sensations and the absence of sensation is nothing to us. 
It is impossible to live a pleasant life without living wisely and well and justly, and it is impossible to live wisely and well and justly without living pleasantly. The blessed and indestructible being of the divine has no concerns of its own, nor does it make trouble for others. It is not affected by feelings of anger or benevolence, because these are found where there is lack of strength. We must laugh and philosophize and manage our households and look after our other affairs all at the same time, and never stop proclaiming the words of the true philosophy. If you shape your life according to nature, you will never be poor. If according to people's opinions, you will never be rich. We must free ourselves from the prison of everyday affairs and politics. How unhappy are the lives of men! How purblind their hearts! When you die, your mind will be gone even faster than your body. Some men spend their whole life furnishing for themselves the things proper to life without realizing that at our birth each of us was poured a mortal brew to drink. Of all the things that wisdom provides for the happiness of the whole man, by far the most important is the acquisition of friendship. Therefore foolish is the man who says that he fears death, not because it will cause pain when it arrives, but because anticipation of it is painful. If a person fights to clear evidence of his senses, he will never be able to share in genuine tranquility. If you wish to make Pythoclus wealthy, don't give him more money, rather, reduce his desires. The man who says that all events are necessitated has no ground for criticizing the man who says that not all events are necessitated, for according to him, this is itself a necessitated event. Men inflict injuries from hatred, jealousy, or contempt, but the wise man masters all these passions by means of reason. I am grateful to blessed nature, because she made what is necessary easy to acquire, and what is hard to acquire unnecessary. If thou wilt make a man happy, add not unto his riches, but take away from his desires. By pleasure we mean the absence of pain in the body and of trouble in the soul. Live in obscurity. Contented poverty is an honorable estate. 